Haven't even had a burrito yet. It's a problem. All right, so today I'm back in San Diego at home. This is so weird because I haven't filmed a sit down video in my parents' house in I don't even know how long, like five years probably. The summer when I first started my channel, literally 10 years ago now, I basically just quarantined myself in this room right here and pre-filmed videos for an entire year while I was still in college. <laughs> so good times in this room, basically. You guys are actually gonna see one more Miami vlog, but I wanted to space out the vlogs with this video right here. So while I'm here, I'm gonna be like kind of switching stuff out for the seasons, changing my clothes, that kind of stuff. So I do have a haul of some new things I wanted to pick up and try and also just some stuff for videos, random things, mostly Target and Amazon. And I'm gonna have everything linked down below in the description box, but if you Enjoy this video while you're watching you can give it a thumbs up i just completely ran out of breath I also last note and then we'll get into the haul filmed an instagram reel on this hair this morning so that will be up already i use the dyson air app if you're curious i want to do a bunch of dyson videos while i'm here because i haven't been able to carry it around with me so very excited to use that bad boy while i'm here but grab your coffee grab your snacks cheers let's do a haul wow i'm excited not only are we filming like an og video in this room but it's also just like a good old old-fashioned haul video like back in the day i feel like haul videos are so rare now which like just a haul i still really like watching them so i'm doing it today obviously let's start off with target here first off i have this sonia kashuk makeup blender makeup sponge i mean look at this thing black and white marble are you kidding it also got good reviews i have a ton of new makeup to try here so i think i'm gonna do another video testing new makeup so this i will try in that video this just spoke to me i had to get it i think elf actually now makes one that looks exactly like that didn't they come out with their like cookies and cream line they did a target shop with me video when i was in austin i'll link that one in the eye and down below if you haven't seen that but in that video i showed this like daily planner pad it was like black and white it was so pretty i'm still regretting that i did not buy that and of course since then i haven't been able to find it in stores so i ordered it but didn't come in time but i'm gonna pop it in right here you know i'm it's worth the wait i have to like keep the weight low in the suitcases so i'm not paying insane overweight fees but that planner pad is worth the wait in my opinion so to go along with that i picked up two new pens which i thought looked so interesting i'm i'm a pen gal okay i love a good pen but look at this sharpie clear view highlighter this is so interesting basically you can see through the tip i guess i just have the ink going around which makes sense it's so you can see your text through it like as you're highlighting how freaking cool is that i wish they made these but in like pastel colors but i'm still into the colors so as soon as my planner pad comes in i'm gonna be using these and then these are so pretty these are the s gel sharpie pens black ink it's 0.7 millimeter i think they might have had one other size of these but again these also got really good reviews they have black ones and white ones but i just thought the white is so pretty and i like how it has the little grip kind of pad it's not like squishy i'm trying not to blind you but also like how can you not next up i have this tanologist flawless tanning mitt i don't even know how often you're supposed to replace tanning mitts but i just feel like it's time to replace my tanning mitt and this one got again good reviews and it just looked really pretty <laughs> like look at this friggin holographic tanning mitt is also a good price for tanning mitts usually they're between like five and ten dollars this one was five bucks it looks like the other side is pink from what i can tell you can kind of see there and i think it's velvet it says velvet soft tan applicator gives a flawless streak free blah 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 oh wait machine washable are all these machine washable and have i just been doing this wrong my entire life you learn something new every day. Next up, I got this skirt. I have my background right now on my phone. I'm in a butterfly mood. I don't know why. I don't know where it came from, but it's here. It has arrived. This is a size medium skirt. Haven't tried this on yet, but it looks really cute. It's gonna be a cute date skirt, actually, don't you think? I want to get one date outfit down because first date outfits, no one sees them again. You know, it's a, it's a new guy. So I just feel like I want <laughs> to like nail down a first date outfit that like I feel good in, that looks cute. And so I don't have to think about it. You can just wear it the same one each time. This is my go-to toothpaste, Crest 3D White Stain Eraser. You don't want to get just the normal 3D White. The one that works incredible is the Stain Eraser. You can get a smaller size at Dollar Tree, but I was just at Target, so I picked it up because I am running low. I have like a couple days left, but this is the best toothpaste ever. For whitening my teeth, all I've been using is this toothpaste and then the Luminu teeth whitening strips. I'll link those down below. I think I have a coupon code that's probably active. So like next level from the original 3D white. I also love the Colgate Optic White, but this out of all of them, I think does the very best job. 
Next, we have a hat. Don't ask me how I'm gonna travel with this, but I'm gonna make it work. You know, this is from Universal Thread. I actually haven't tried this on yet. It is 20 bucks. Let's see how it looks. Hopefully I don't ruin my, my hairstyle here. Oh, okay. Cute, I think. Does it look too big? I don't have it pushed all the way down because I don't wanna like ruin my hair and makeup right now, but I think that has potential. I don't know about you, but I'm in full-blown summer mode after Miami. Like, I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> She's just looking. After this long on YouTube, I still cannot film if someone is watching or, like, can hear me. I don't know what it is. It's, like, a weird mental thing. I feel like I have to, like, say everything first go if someone's listening to me. <laughs> this hair mask, I am so excited to have back in my life because I've tried so many hair masks over the years. And this is the one that I still think is, like, Definitely in top three of all time, drugstore and high end. It's the L'Oreal Deep Repair 5, is that what's called, I can't see. Total Repair 5. When I completely got my hair fried off trying to go to silver hair, good times, that was like, what, five years ago now, six years ago? This was like one of the products that I felt like really helped bring my hair back to life in combination with a few other things, argon oil. But if you have damaged hair or you just want a really good hair mask that's very moisturizing and repairing, I still think this is amazing. I don't love their shampoo and conditioner. When I was in New York, I showed you guys, I picked that up to use. And the shampoo and conditioner didn't do as amazing things for me as the hair mask does. It has like just a pleasant hair kind of scent. I don't love the scent, but it's not bad. It kind of just smells like Pantene or something. And by the way, if your hair is really damaged, just use a hair mask in place of conditioner and just like leave it on in the shower while you shave or whatever, turn off the water, just like chill there, have some good shower thoughts while your hair mask is in, give it a few minutes, but I still use hair masks usually in place of conditioner, just in the shower. And then from Target, I have this Universal Threads hair clip. I thought this was so pretty, it looks like hammered gold, it was only five bucks. I've been wearing my hair like half up, half down a lot, just in like a black clip, but I thought this would be really cute just for a little touch of gold in there. Love me some gold. Speaking of gold, I got a new ring. This one's so pretty. It's on the finger that normally my grandma's ring, the black one goes on. I'm not gonna show you up close right now, but that ring like irritated my finger, so I'm just switching it, giving it a good clean. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, and then I'm gonna put it back on and put this one on a different finger, but I do really like this one too. Last couple things I picked up at Target. These are my favorite sparkling water brands, the Good & Gather. They're so good, their flavors are good, they're nice and bubbly. I drink like literally three or four of these a day. So I love the cherry lime one. I like their coconut one. And then I picked up their ginger peach because it was the only other one in stock, but I can't remember if I like this one or not. It might be a, it might be a no, so don't go off my word on that one. When I got my prescription, a couple random things I picked up at Rite Aid, I am totally out of my deodorant. You know when you like, ooh, you time it wrong, so you like actually run out and it's not a good situation. You're like run into the store and you would desperately need some deodorant. Old Spice, one of my favorite deodorant brands I've used for years because it actually works on me, but this one is new. It's the Zero Aluminum Lavender and Mint Scent. This smells so good. I have not tried this yet, so I don't know if the No Aluminum is gonna like make a difference, but it smells delish. It smells like cologne, but still, I'll get like the freshness from the mint. I had COVID in December over Christmas, and I didn't feel like my scent or taste like went down during it, but now, especially in the last like couple weeks to a month, there's been like a handful of times where someone will smell something like really intense and I literally can't smell it. And then just today, when my mom and I were going through the closet, there was like a whole thing of lush bath bombs and she was like, whoa, smells amazing in here. And I could not smell it at all. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think my scent has gone way down, but it's been more of a recent thing. So I'm curious if any of you have had like a delayed reaction where a few months after it happened. Okay, then I picked up this, which is obviously made for kids. It's the Raw Sugar Kids Strawberry Vanilla Bubble Bath and Body Wash. This thing I can smell. <laughs> it smells exactly like the L'Oreal. Remember that strawberry like two-in-one shampoo conditioner thing that smelled like a strawberry milkshake? That's exactly what this smells like, but it's made with plant-derived ingredients, no sulfates, parabens, vegan. And I like that this was bubble bath and body wash. I wanted a body wash for the shower here. I'm just gonna leave this here and I'll use it whenever I come home. But I have like my Epsom salt here, so I wanna take a good bath with some like Epsom salt and then this bubble bath. It's definitely not my usual scent, but it's just like very nostalgic. Like it's super sweet, super fruity, but it just makes me think of like being a kid. Also the packaging of these is so cute. Like if you do have a kid, super cute packaging. 
Oh my God, I'm having issues. Next, I ordered a swimsuit off of American Eagle. I'm gonna put in the photo of like the model wearing it here so you can see what it looks like, but there's high-waisted crossover bottoms, American Eagle. I friggin' love how they always do the crossover waist. It's super flattering on both swimsuits, shorts, actually the shorts I'm wearing right now are American Eagle like crossover ones. And I love how American Eagle never does the top to where it digs in. So it just kind of like smooths over your waist. But these are very high waist if you're short these like definitely kind of hit the swimsuit top that I'm going to show so just be aware but the reason why I purchased this swimsuit in the first place was because I don't like a lot of swimsuit tops on me got some back fat here that I don't love so I will look for swimsuits that like kind of go lower or like just smooth it over cover it up it just makes me feel better than like having a tight thing like digging into it so this swimsuit top is a little bit longer it's flattering over the back because again it like goes pretty high underneath your armpit and then also goes lower. I did try these on already and the only thing I wish they didn't do is it has this lining which is nice for the front but on the back it is like a little bit tight so it does create like a little bit of a bulge but it's still underneath this lining if that makes sense but I still really like it. I think it's really cute. I think they had this in like a periwinkle blue color and then also a pink. I love the color. I'm into green right now. I'm into I'm into color in general. It's a weird weird phase we have going on but I've been wearing a lot of color. All right, next I have some boots because, well, Austin happened to me. I don't feel like I'm quite there to where I could wear like a full cowboy boot yet. I just am not there mentally yet. But there were so many people wearing white cowboy boots with like a dress or something and it just looked really cute. And so I found these on Steve Madden and I loved the white heel. It was hard to find ones that were like pure all white. Small size they have were five and a half. So these are a little bit big, but with boots, I can usually like get away with it because you can't really tell they're big. And I got these on Nordstrom Rack, so they were marked down. I'll link them down below. When I'm filming this, they still have them in stock. Next up, let's do Amazon. So if you've uh, been on Instagram or TikTok, you've probably seen these things, but basically it's like, a hair shenanigan that you sleep in. You basically like wash your hair and then wrap it around and then you sleep on it. I usually have to sleep in like weird positions with my neck. So I'm not sure how this is gonna go sleeping on this. I might have to try to do like on my back. So I don't actually know if this is gonna work for me, but I might try just like putting it in and blow drying it or something. I'm curious how this length is gonna work with this too. Cause I feel like it looks really good on longer hair, but love the leopard. They had it in black and I think like pink and a couple other colors, but if there's an option for leopard. I am choosing it, okay? I don't say no to leopard. So let me know if you guys wanna see something on this video, Instagram reel, whatever. Always pick up Lumify eye drops. I use these at least once a day, once or twice a day. These are the best redness reducing eye drops, but they don't do anything for lubrication. I still use a different eye drop for dryness and then I go in with this for redness, but literally every time I do my makeup, I put these in and then I usually do it in the afternoon again. Okay, I am very excited for these, so in the next vlog that you're seeing, I go through my iPad and give it basically like a big makeover. I'm debating if I wanna upgrade and get the new iPad Pro or the Air or whatever. I just wanted to give my old one a little bit of a makeover, see if I like using it in different ways. So I got two different iPad cases to try here. One of them has a keyboard. I've never had a keyboard for my iPad, so I just wanna see how I like using a keyboard with it. Right now I just use my Apple Pencil. You can use it in all these different ways right there. So you can still like stand it up. You can use it as a laptop, a tablet, whatever. Like I said, I'm in a green mood right now. It is a little heavy, not too heavy, but if you were traveling with this, like definitely add some weight. Okay, how do you open this? Put your iPad, how does this work? Oh, wow. I think you just connect the keyboard via Bluetooth. I'm gonna have to do some playing around with this, but I will definitely update in a vlog or just this kind of case and see if I just like using still my Apple Pencil with it without a keyboard. This is like the standard kind of case that a lot of people have where you can just like sit it like this. Right now, all I have is a hard case on it with my Apple Pencil and it works well for me because I use it with like a different kind of stand, but I'm just, like I said, trying them out, seeing what I think. I really like this color, really pretty like lighter. I'll show you the difference. Here's the difference in color. So this one's a little bit darker and it feels soft. It's not like a super hard case. This is like definitely like a silicone kind of case, but I liked this one too because it has a slot for your Apple Pencil right here. And then I picked up this Bedhead After Party Smoothing Cream for Silky Shiny Healthy Looking Hair. This had really good reviews and I think I got it for like 
nine or ten bucks. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing more Dyson videos while I'm here, and so I just wanna find a good combo of products that I like and just test this. It smells like bedhead. Okay, last thing is probably what I'm most excited about, but I saved it till the end because I don't know how many of you are gonna be interested in this because it's a camera, but this is wild. I actually wanna show my dad this. He's gonna be into this. Okay, this is a Insta360 1X2 Pocket 3 Study Cam. I saw these travel vloggers that I follow on Instagram talking about this on their stories and I'll insert some of their footage here because obviously I haven't tried it yet. This captures all the way around and it basically looks like you're shooting from a drone from above, even though you're literally just holding it up. It captures everything and the really cool thing is that you edit it on their own app that is for this camera but you can choose which frame you want. So even though it's capturing 360, you can literally choose the exact angle that you want and then use that for your footage. They have really beautiful travel content, so I just like was trusting what they were saying, but they were saying that the audio is pretty good. It's waterproof too, which is so cool. So instead of having a GoPro and this, you could just use this camera. It has really good stabilization, they were saying, and it has a steady cam mode, and it's also 5.7K, so it's more than 4K. So I'm just so excited to try this. I might try to get some like San Diego footage with this if we go on a cool hike or something, or just like by the coast. So you'll definitely see some footage come in from this thing, and I'll update in a vlog what I think of this, but so so excited to try that camera. All right, so that was everything that I picked up. I'm excited to like go through, try some stuff, film some videos, change out my suitcases. This is like the reset period right now here in San Diego. So all that will be coming in a vlog. If you aren't into vlogs, just try. Just try to watch one and see what you think. You might really like it. I talk about makeup stuff. I talk about just life updates. It's kind of like a combo of shadow and schmooze makeup, like sit down videos and then vlogs. So you might, you might like it, even if you think you're not a vlog person. If not, that's cool too. But the next video coming will be the last Miami vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, I'll have everything I talked about linked down below in the description box. I am starving, but I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.